Yeah, it was very tricky at the end. I think at the start, the mediums were good. I, uh, I had very good pace there, but uh, on the hard tires, it seemed like they were not working on our car. I, I never really got them you know, to fire up. And then, of course, you know, the longer you do the stint, the worse it gets. And uh, the last 10, 15 laps for me were extremely difficult. It was like driving on ice and uh, I could see, of course, Lando closing in. And um, yeah, the last few laps I was pushing flat out while being, you know, uh, for my feeling on ice, it was so, so difficult to be consistent. But of course, very happy that we still won. I mean, it was just too much, too much to do. I got close, but then as soon as you get close, the, temp, the tires just start to overheat. You lose a lot of downforce and grip. And it takes a couple of laps just to kind of understand how to avoid some of that and how to drive in those conditions. Once I understood that, it was the last lap and then I caught, but it was just too late. So, I mean, I caught like, what, 10 seconds or something in probably 16, 17 laps. So it was a good effort, um, a little too late. Uh, of course, I want uh, more and uh, I wish I was, uh, we were on the first uh, step of the podium today. However, it's uh, the best we could do today. I think uh, looking back at the weekend, I'm a bit more optimistic and a bit more positive compared to where to how I was feeling yesterday. For sure, we need to keep on working, uh, try and uh, obviously maximizing the potential and... Uh, and uh, <laughs> thought he was sliding. <laughs> um, maximizing the potential of the car, uh, which for now there's still some to, uh, to unlock. Uh, it's still relatively new, uh, the upgrade on the car, so uh, there are some things we can do to, uh, to, to improve. Yeah, I think you know the whole weekend has been really strong for both the team and myself. I think I've been confident from the first lap of practice and you know had a really good qualifying. Uh, it's just a shame about the penalty because I think it's unfortunately limited what we could have done. Um, so yeah, I think we had a good strategy to get in front of one of the Ferraris. I tried my best to get the second one, but uh, it's just so tough to overtake that you, know, you spend a couple of laps trying, you overheat the tires quickly and then it's, uh, it's game over. So um, yeah, I think that was the most we had today. Well, on my side, I just struggled, uh, to be honest, all weekend. Uh, after qualifying, we found a couple of um, couple of issues with a with car that probably hold us back today a bit. And uh, it was not a very strong weekend at home here in front of the Tifosi. Now we need to have a look at uh, how we can solve them and, and make a step forward for Monaco. At the same time, when you look at uh, Charles, I think if we would have started uh, in front, the race pace is not bad at all. It's just we need to find something in qualifying. No, I mean, I had George ahead of me at the beginning and then I was always, I never really felt, I could see people and I was chasing, so I didn't really feel like I was alone. Um, I was just pushing, trying to close whatever gap was up ahead of me. But um, yeah, we just, we, we don't have the pace of the others at the moment, but we are eking, slowly eking closer. Yeah, not, not too sure. Um, the reason needed to talk to the team, but I think we're slightly concerned with the tyre. Um, at the end of the day, as a team, we got one extra point. Obviously, lost the position to Lewis, but it's not something I'm going to be talking about tonight, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, it was a bit of a lonely race for us. Um, we risked it. We knew that it was a very risky strategy, and, and, and the teams were not favoring that strategy. But we, we were dreaming a bit with the safety car at the right point for us. And uh, also, I think it was really bad um, going off. I was playing around with the balance to try and. and Protect a little bit the rear axle, and then uh, I just went straight into turn 16, and uh, yeah, that meant that uh, I, I feel like I picked up some damage, and um, that compromised also the race because that put us. I lost like six, seven seconds, and that put me really close to to the people uh, behind. Yeah, we were hoping for a safety car, um, hence we were staying out a very long time, and then uh, yeah, at the end it was fun to pass some cars. I was starting to compromise our little bit <laughs> race, but um, yeah, still happy that we were able to score points at least in front of the, well, our home Grand Prix. And uh, yeah, it wasn't easy managing like more than 50 laps with a hard tyre, but uh, yeah, I think uh, well done to the team and yeah, positive. Yeah, obviously we got undercut by Yuki, so that was one position lost. Um, and obviously, you know, Checo was coming through the Red Bull, there was no holding him back and also uh, Lance, you know, with much fresher tyres on, on a different strategy. So, uh, yeah, we, we just, I think, frankly, didn't have quite enough pace. We were missing a little bit and also the strategy, the early stop made, made life quite hard. It was a long uh, final stint um, and it was a struggle, you know, to find the, a good harmony and, and, and rhythm. But, uh, yeah, otherwise a clean race. 
Yeah, I think we had a decent day. <clears throat> uh, didn't really get anything uh, for free in, in terms of uh, cars ahead having problems. So uh, P12 for us, uh, we really earned that. It was um, yeah, overtaking people on track and uh, really fighting for it. So uh, felt like a good race, but we just started too far back. I don't know the facts yet, but honestly from my side, nothing felt like it went wrong in terms of, you kind of know if you botch it with the kind of the way you drop the clutch and you got a pretty good idea when it's kind of your fault. Um, I didn't feel like anything went wrong, so yeah, I mean, let's let's wait and see. But anyway, as a team, we gotta we gotta figure it out, and we just like like consistency there. I think we, we deserved in Miami to, to be scoring a point. Um, we don't deserve today to to be scoring it. I think we we struggled too much with the pace uh, in general, but also the straight line speed. You know, we were not able to attack or defend uh, at certain stage of the race, and that costed us quite a lot. Um, so yeah, no points uh, this race. We will, uh, you know, try and analyze and understand, you know, what we can do better for this race, and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, we can have a, another goal next week. Yeah, it feels not not too bad. I think uh, where we finish is kind of the speed, unfortunately, but uh, the race made hard, kind of hard soft, uh, hard medium worked. But yeah, praying for a bit of safety at the end, but uh, nothing really happened at the end. But the race was quite a lot of action going on. Uh, yeah. It was quite a lot of tough fight, but then I had one time going off into turn nine, getting pushed wide by Esteban. I was quite surprised there was no further action after that, but yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll have to review. I mean, uh, first stage of the race, I'm within a couple seconds of uh, Ulkenberg and uh, Yuki. I think Danny Rick is second out of me, and then we fi finish miles up, though. So, uh, uh, yeah, not a good afternoon, and uh, we'll have to review uh, what we missed out. It was a weird one, um, you know, tried to start on the hard, um, the tire really got damaged early on in the race and um, just trying to hang on on that stint, do some defending, trying to hurt some other people's races um, to hopefully help, you know, later on and then we went to that second stint and just blue flag after blue flag and um, lots of dirty air and, you know, we have, were having these big swings of performance and it was all just coming from, you know, the, the temperature of the tire. Um, we found a bit of clean air, the performance would come get into the dirty air and we'd immediately start to struggle. So, um, don't really know what to say. I, uh, I just did my best to, you know, take over the laps best I could. We tried something with the strategy today. We stopped really early, uh, which I think it's good to try, but the last thing was too long. Like the last 10 laps, uh, tires just dropped, dropped away and, uh, it was a bit more like ice skating than, than racing. I mean, we need to, to wait and see all the data that we gathered today and, um, and ask the team, you know, what, what they, they saw different between the two cars. We opted for two set up different uh, in my car. And uh, yeah, let's see if we, we find a direction for the next few races. It was a tough weekend. Obviously, qualifying dictates everything here. It will be the same in Monaco. So we need to um, do that perfect Saturday that, you know, obviously makes uh, things easier for Sunday. Yes, I was hoping for a, a safety car and then a kind of a NASCAR style waving by kind of thing, but uh, nothing really came and then we fell two laps back so, after the penalty, so so not perfect. Um, pretty much out the pit lane, so as soon as I got up to speed and braked into turn one, and too much vibration and uh, the wheel nut wasn't on... Um, it wasn't like it was totally off, but it was just a little bit of free play. Um, so safe to come back, but not, not safe enough to race.